G'day and welcome to Great TV. Uh, we're here live on location down at Opus Offices down in the Viaduct in Auckland. Um, I'm joined with a team of recent grads. How are you guys? Yeah. Good. Good. Wanted to have a chat to you guys today a little bit about uh, your experience, how you joined Opus, um, and then also about some of your experiences you've had um, to date. So, um, yeah, if you just want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you, uh, where, where you came from, really. Um, I'm Richard. I studied at Auckland University and finished at the end of last year. Um, my name is Selena and I graduated from Auckland Uni as well um, in 2010. So I've been working with Opus since the start of last year. And I also studied at Auckland University, graduated at the end of 2010 and started at the beginning of 2011. And I started work out in Pukakai for 10 months and then transferred to the Auckland Civil Structures team. Cool. So all Auckland graduates and all from Auckland? Yes. <laughs> Go Auckland. <laughs> cool. So um, why don't you talk a little bit about the process? Um, you know, you're sitting at university, you went on to the fair or you found out that Opus were, were hiring. Um, how did it sort of go for you guys from there? I'm assuming probably a reasonably similar process. I don't know if Ashley, you want to sort of talk us through a little bit about that? Um, yeah, so I heard about Opus through the careers fairs and online research as everyone does. And just applied online and then got a call from HR setting up an interview. And then I came in and was interviewed by HR and the Northern Region Manager. And at that point they ask you like, where do you want to work, what do you want to do and that sort of thing. And then I got a call back saying um, I had a second interview with the office that I was going to be placed in. And I went out to Pukako and met my new boss there and he liked me and was all <laughs> going from there. Yeah. yeah, it was a similar process for me and the whole thing was quite easy in comparison to most other companies. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mine was the same as Milena. It was sort of really straightforward. Just applied online, one interview, and then moved back a few weeks later saying they've got an offer for me. <laughs> good, good. Well, great, well, that's nice and simple. Um, you hear some rather rigorous uh, yeah. processes and can be quite stressful so it's quite nice to know that uh, it's pretty concise for you guys here. Mm -hmm. In terms of while well, um, next step um, in the last sort of five months for you Richard and that also for you guys the last 12 months plus, um, what's the support like? Um, you know, Do you have mentors, do you have buddies or, or anything like that? Well they sort of encourage you to get set up with a mentor sort of six months into it and in the meantime the work group that you set up with after you. Um, I was quite lucky, my work group manager was amazing. Um, he has so much experience and just loves to talk and share his knowledge with everybody. So it's really good, like I can just go and ask him a question. And I think that's the same with anybody really, like all the senior technical people, you can just sort of go in and ask questions and they're wanting to give you the answers. Well, very approachable and give yeah. you the time day when you need it, so it's definitely a good thing. And we also have quite a good like of young people, we have this um, young emerging professionals group where all the grads get together once a month or so and we talk about things, discuss upcoming training and that sort of stuff, which is really good to have people on the same level as you, you know, going through the same stuff. Yeah, another cool thing that Opus has is the um, PIM network and it's sort of like a, is it global? Sort of a global yeah, it's network. Global. And you can sort of post questions depending on the category of work, so project management or structural design or geotechnical or whatever. And you have people from like the UK or Canada giving you feedback on right. projects they've worked on, so it's quite cool. Yeah, it's really helpful. So, so not only a national company, we're talking an international yes, company. Yes, exactly. So that begs the question, um, is there opportunity to move around nationally? Um, I guess you mentioned before that you started Pukakaui yep. and then come in to Auckland. Yep. And then later this year I'm heading down to Christchurch for a few months to do some of the rebuild down there, which will be a really awesome experience. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm planning to maybe go overseas next year, do a year maybe in Canada or something like that, so it'll be quite cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And of course that must be reciprocal as well, they've got people from overseas coming yeah. here too. We had someone from the UK come down, well, mid last year. She's become such a good friend of ours, like I'm going to go see her yeah. <laughs> soon, <laughs> in a week. Oh, cool. Also, yeah. um, with an office as well, you can move around yeah. work groups. Mm -hmm. So, you could start in structures, for example, and then move into geotech or yeah. vice versa. So, in terms of um, training development support being the next sort of stage, mm -hmm. um, you know, does Opus like you to go through and um, get chartered, or you know, is there other sort of development that you can sort of uh, tap into? Um, they definitely push quite hard to get everyone chartered. 
um, it's all fully funded by Opus and they provide mentors, as I mentioned, to help get you through. And our applications are reviewed internally before they get sent off to IPEN, so you feel real confident in your actual chartership application before. Yeah, you've got tons of support as well throughout the application process in terms of like development, you know, training and things like that, mm -hmm. so it's quite good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So um, that's all work stuff. Um, <laughs> what about outside of work? Do you do you have um, the chance to sort of go and put your hair down and um, get together with the grad group or um, do anything sort of social yeah. here? As Ashley's already mentioned, there's a young engineering professionals group, which you say about 12 grads or so, mm -hmm. and we get together every now and again for lunches and after work drinks and type thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we had a little into office race not long ago at um, Victoria Park, two of the teams like challenged each other to a little relay which was, it's just nice to have that sort of yeah. competitiveness and like, you know, like something, get out of the office for a while and just have a bit of fun. Did you win? <laughs> <laughs> I was the only girl racing. <laughs> oh, good, good. Oh, well hopefully that's sort of um, some great sort of insights um, about office and sort of your experiences. Um, from the, uh, a personal standpoint, is there uh, any sort of job or anything else that you guys have worked on that's been a bit of a highlight so far? Um, I did a part of the um, EMU train station, which is a train maintenance depot for building out in Wurri. Okay. That was a highlight for me. Yeah. Uh, mine was a major road infrastructure project in Panyol. And um, one of the cool things about Opus is that they win a lot of the bigger projects so you get to work on lots of challenging, exciting things. <laughs> um, quite a good project. Um, out in the prison I was managing it myself which was really exciting. It was just a basic like slab design but I was the one talking to the clients and I was the one organising everything. It was quite nice to like have that responsibility. Cool. Well there you go. Um, thanks for coming on today guys and uh, hopefully those insights will um, help you out in thinking about uh, starting a career at Opus. Cool. Mm -hmm.